I'm riding along Highway 93. This is the Bitterroot uh, bike path. Goes all the way to Missoula, but today I have a much shorter way to go. I'm gonna be turning in at a couple hundred feet and we're gonna see more of the river. So this is Blodgett Rotary Park. It's right off the highway, as you can probably hear behind me. And it's a pretty basic park. It's more a wayside. The attraction is the river. And uh, we do have like a little shelter with picnic tables, but basically the attraction is the river. So let's go see the river. So it's warm enough today that I can smell the ponderosas. Almost summer in Montana. And uh, there's different little places to get go and see the river. Let's see if I can find the best one. So here we have a basic little pass down to the river. And uh, like I said, the river is the attraction here. Beautiful blue today. So this is very obviously beaver sign, which makes sense. And uh, beaver live anywhere there's water, but they have different lifestyles. Uh, and I don't know if there's actually any beaver dams near here, or if they're just eating trees and maybe living in other types of habitats. Uh, also related to that, it should be noted that what you see across the river at this point I believe is not actually the other side of the river. That's an island and this is just a channel. So this is actually a really good habitat for animals who live close to water because there's many different places and many different bodies of water. This park is called Blodgett Park because it's close to Blodgett Creek, which doesn't actually um, touch the park directly, but it's a thousand feet or so away to the south in that direction. And Blodgett Creek comes out of Blodgett Canyon and brings a good amount of water into the river. And uh, at some point, hopefully, we will be seeing Blodgett Canyon itself. But today, well, this is Blodgett Park. Good enough for a Wednesday. Here we see this plant is definitely leafing out. Can't tell what this is, what this is from here. My guess would be it's something in the rose family. It's cherry, oso berry, um, something like that. Don't think that's alder. Can't see any uh, cones or catkins. So I think that's probably something in the rose family, like some type of cherry, um, which often are hardy plants that come out early. But if you look up at these, which are probably something in the poplar family, still bear. It'll be a while before they get to go. So as far as the facilities go, this outhouse here, this little shack, is the totality of the facilities. Um, so if this isn't too much information, one thing about Montana, because of the cold, dry weather, um, things like that are a lot less gross than they'd be in other places. Anyway, I wanted to point that out um, because the bike path is along the highway and a lot of that's kind of noisy, but there are a lot of places that people can turn off. So whether like, you know, a lot of times I've done day trips up and down the path, I stop here to eat and drink, um, use the bathroom. And that's also true for anybody who's going to be doing any long, uh, long distance cycling. If somebody wants to do a cycle trip, you know, multi-day cycle trip, uh, this is not a camping place, but there are a lot of places where you can stop and enjoy the river. Um, so that's one of the things is the bike path is not just a path. There are many places along it. And related to that, and looking at that river, um, point I've been hammering home, there's a lot of places here that are unsung. I mean, this is just a turnoff, but if you're new to the region and you want to see the river, you can see the river. Um, so there's a lot of places you can go that aren't like big, fancy, important campgrounds, but are nice places to see. And this, the Blodgett um, Park, just north of Hamilton, Montana, is one of them, and we'll be seeing a lot more. And earlier I said that other tree that was leafing out was in the rose family. Here, this is actually a rose. You can tell from the red stems and the thorns, and what else could it be? And uh, wild rose, sometimes called dog rose, very common in this area, grows anywhere there's water, um, very hardy plant. And it's kind of interesting that roses are considered to be such beautiful, um, you know, 
delicate, showy plants. But they are really scrappy, as you can see there. So, wanted to make that little note on the floor of Montana. So the path continues to the north, and here it's on this side of the highway. In a little while, when it hits Woodside Cutoff, you can maybe just see in the distance, it switches to the other side, and I think it switches a couple more times, but here it is on the uh, east side of the road. And I'm gonna continue back that way, and uh, a couple miles north of Hamilton here, there's the mountains. And uh, one more piece of information about things to see here. Addendum, because if I mention it, I might as well show it. Right here, I'm on the pedestrian bridge. This is Blodgett Creek, and this is where it enters the river rut. And as you can see, Blodgett Creek has beautifully pure water. Very nice creek right here.